So make sure this is a room for you're not wrong in the class. Uh, before we begin the presentation, I will remind you first after the obvious after this parallel. Uh, please, you can take a rest and leave the Zoom, but please make sure to rejoin again at 1530 in the afternoon because there will be also the presentation presentation for from the third and the fourth keynote speaker. And then the attendance list for the afternoon will be also shared in the 15.30 at the Zoom link, the Zoom link that I already sent to you in your email. Please use the same, the same Zoom link in the morning. So you can take a rest, but be sure to join us again at 15.30 p.m. So before uh, the presentation begin, allow me to uh, share your regulation first for the presentation. First of all, uh, for all the presenter, please try to use English to present your paper. And then for the second one, uh, for the PPT file or PowerPoint presentation file, you are themselves to share the PPT file. So if I invite you to present your paper, just click the share screen below and open your PPT file. If I already invited you to make a presentation. For the time limitation for each presenter to present your paper, it's only 10 minutes, not more than 10 minutes because we have a very, very limited schedule or time. So please make sure yeah, that your presentation is 10 minutes only and then uh, how about the discussion and the answer and question session will be held in the end after the, all the presenter present their paper. So keep your question first to, to the end of the session. Uh, and also the because of the, the limitation, limitation time, I will only accept three questions from the present, present from the participants. For all the presenter, only three questions. I'm so sorry, truly sorry. So without further ado, I will welcome to the presenter here to room four is Mrs. Fauzia Sri Wahyuni. Is this Mrs. Fauzia has already joined in here? Mrs. Fauzia? No? Mrs. Fauzia, which titles is or Mrs. Fauzia? No, no, Mrs. If there is no Mrs. Fozia, I will continue to the second presenter in my schedule is Miss Trisna Ningsi. Miss Trisna Ningsi, already in here or not? Miss Trisna Ningsi, I cannot see Miss Trisna Ningsi. Okay, we move on to Miss Tian Yulian. Miss Tian Yulianti. I'm here. Okay, okay. Yo, okay, uh, because the, sec uh, the first and the second did not come here, we begin to Miss Tian Yulianti entitled only online focus group discussion model design in learning. The floor is yours. Please, Mrs. Tian, present your paper. Okay, thank you. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, good morning. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I'm Tin Yulianti. Uh, let me share my screen. Yeah, okay, please. Oops. Okay. Already presented. Please. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Today, uh, I would like to present our presentation, online focus group discussion model, design in learning. Uh, it is uh, the research of both of us, Ms. Ari Sulistiawati and I myself, Tin Yulianti. Uh, why we choose this? Uh, title because uh, in pandemic we cannot meet in the classroom so uh, we have to find about the model 
in learning, uh, especially for increasing uh, public speaking for the student. And uh, the activities we have in the class, uh, the student take our material, our course, personality development, and it is the compulsory subject for students uh, to have their, uh, we can call PKL, and for their last assignment as a scripsi and the uh, uh, PPL for the uh, education department. Uh, usually for personality development, uh, we have to meet in the classroom because uh, there is some practice in the lecturing. Uh, because of pandemic, so we have to find the method uh, that the lecturing, uh, we, 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 we get both synchronous and asynchronous. On asynchronous, we choose uh, SPADA, Universitas Technocrat, as our LMS, Learning Management System. And it uh, took full of online learning. So the material, the video, and the quiz, the assessment, we put on our LMS. And for the practice as a synchronous, we have some uh, guidance like using Zoom, using WhatsApp, using uh, Telegram and others. And our point is for uh, the technique for increasing the public speaking, we get focus group discussion. Since uh, we cannot meet in the classroom, so we choose the me online method. Uh, the target of achievement for this research is public speaking. Uh, because when we use only asynchronous lecturing, we cannot assess the achievement of students in public speaking. And then uh, in this century, yeah, the integration of knowledge, skill, and attitude, the student must get as well as the ICT master. Uh, the student must know and must have skill about critical thinking, communication skills, creatives, and innovative. And uh, they, not, they must know how to collaborate with others. And then, uh, we take the definition of focus group discussion itself. Focus group discussion is a systematic process of collecting data and information on a specific problem that is very specified uh, through group discussion. It according to Irwanto and according to William, FGD can spark up one another suggesting different dimension and nuances of the original problem that anyone participant might not have thought. So based on the, this statement, we choose that focus group discussion uh, can increase the student to practice their public speaking. And our research use method of Asur model. Yeah. Uh, we take uh, for the first uh, lecturing, we still have meet uh, in the classroom. So I take this picture, but uh, the next meeting we have pandemic. So uh, we start to use online. And uh, we take the population sample in this research from uh, some of the student and uh, this research is taken on the even semester. And uh, this is the use of method of Asur model. For the first, we have to analyze the learners 
identifying and analyzing the students' characteristics, and that uh, we state the objective about the standard and the learning objective of public speaking material. Uh, why we have to, uh, why we choose public speaking because it is our target. And then uh, we select the method, what kind of method, media, and teaching materials will be used in this learning. And uh, we have to utilize media and material because uh, it concerns to the technology, media, and material in order to achieve the learning objective. And then uh, we require the learner participation. It should, uh, effective learning requires active student involvement. And the last is evaluate and revise the assessment of knowledge and skills are analyzed for follow-up reflection. And then uh, we use the instruments of learning model assessment we take from uh, Yulianti uh, 2015. This is uh, the aspect of assessment of public speaking. For the first, we have to see their eye contact, their facial expression when they are speaking, their voice intonation, their body posture, body movement, hand movement, speaking ethics, and material mastery, grammatical. But if they speak in Indonesia, so we see from uh, Indonesian grammatical, and if they speak in uh, English, so uh, we check from their grammatical and their pronunciation also. Uh, since uh, in professional development, uh, the target of the lecturing is character building, so uh, we assess their effective assessment. And uh, their effective assessment, uh, we see from their honestly, their discipline, their independent in uh, doing their assignment on LMS, and they responsible for uh, awareness of their obligation to follow the lecturing stage. Uh, and this is the model of our uh, result of of our FGD, online focus group dis, uh, discussion. The first phase, we determine of theme, method, and technique of discussion. And the second phase, about learning organization. The third phase, uh, data collecting and analysis. analysis. And the fourth phase, the implementation, uh, the phase fifth phase, evaluation, and the reflection. Uh, from the first phase, uh, we determine the topic, uh, which it will be explained in the group. And the learning organization, the student create the group and discuss the procedure for uh, collecting and analyzing the data for presentation, assignment, and a host uh, who will be the host, moderator, and the presenter. And for data collecting, they have to gather information, fact, and data according to a given theme followed by analyzing activities. And the implementation, they implementing the focus discussion in a group determined uh, according to the theme. And then the last, uh, at the end of the learning process, lectures and students evaluate and reflect on the FGD activities on the result of the implementation of their tasks, reflect on the FGD activities and the result of the implementation of their assignment. Uh, this is the student uh, activity. They make a group of discuss discussion online, and they, uh, they were using Zoom as a platform of the meeting, and they choose theme 
uh, based on the pandemic, uh, they can choose uh, the topic about COVID and pandemic. And then uh, this is the result of the measurement of learning values. Uh, from the assessment, they will get A and B, and uh, they will be state uh, pass. But if they get C, D, they come to E, means that they are failed. And uh, for the result, for public speaking, from the 355 students, uh, the one who get A, around 149 students, and they get B, 153 Three, students. Okay. And the last, uh, in personality development, who, who get past only A and B. And the conclusion is, our FGD models in learning can be used to bring up the idea of learners in learning or learning that priorities opinion aimed at communication skills. Thank you. It, uh, it was my and our presentation. Uh, I will give it back to moderator. Okay, thank you, Ms. Tian Yulianti. For question and answer, we'll be ended, we'll be ended in the, oh, after all the presenter present. Please stop okay. the share, share screen. Uh, yeah, okay. okay. Thank you very much, Ms. Tian, for the information, such interesting people. We thank continue. You. The second presenter, uh, please welcome Dr. Mina, Mirna Laksman Huntley. Is that correct? Thank you. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Shall okay. I screen? May I uh, share screen? Yes, please. Thank you. It's on the way, I hope. Okay, good morning. Uh, due to uh, the COVID-19 pandemic since mid-March 2020, distance teaching has been implemented at all educational levels. Uh, implementing distance teaching is a challenge in itself for both teachers and students because this method requires them to be proficient in technology. It is undeniable that in practice, distance teaching for foreign language faces various problems, such as uh, technology related problems with the gadget used, which can affect the ability of teachers to deliver the teaching content effectively, especially to a non foreign language specialized school like MAN to Kota Bogor. Um, this school is a madrasa located in a district of East Bogor uh, that teaches um, French as one of the one of the senior sorry it's uh, uh, sorry this school is a madrasa located in a district of East Bogor that teaches French as one of the local content subjects which is compulsory for all students from freshman to senior year this school has been aiming to arrange uh, the French language teaching curriculum with a target of A1 proficiency. However, based upon the information given by the French teacher, the school is facing an obstacle in French teaching because of insufficient study time. French classes are only conducted once a week, 45 minutes each session. Meanwhile, to achieve the target of A1 proficiency, learners must conduct 120 hours in French learning. We noted that a previous study on the same type of school in Chirabon found that even extending twice study time a week cannot achieve early level French targets, French learning targets. Here we present um, an experiment of distance teaching French as a foreign language 
for a specific uh, purpose uh, on the, out of the context, which is the school. This complementary uh, activity is given and intensively during the school holiday to students using uh, FOSS. Uh, I will uh, continue saying FOSS for French uh, language for, for specific purposes. Uh, prior studies on foreign language teaching were found regarding the teaching of uh, foreign language um, for specific purposes, the distance teaching system, and technology and foreign language teaching. This study is based on qualitative research whose data sources come from 15 selected senior year students who have completed year 11 and made it to year 12 with a final score of 80 to 90 in French. This study is conducted using two French, uh, uh, two French as foreign language FLE approaches, which are determinist and environmentalist and learner-centered communication based on the needs of students and in five stages of FOSS. The five stages were executed in a month of 22 hours First, based on school teachers' uh, problem, the school syllabus, and the students' French skill, we prepared a customized teaching syllabus and divided students into five groups, each consisting of three students. Second, we conducted an online French proficiency test. Third, executing regular lessons three days a week on non-consecutive days and two hours each day. During the teaching and learning process, the students' students' progress was recorded and evaluated based on their quiz scores uh, and participation. Fourth, the execution of the final project as a virtual tour guide in five famous tourist attractions in Bogor. At this stage, three experts in French and tourism assess the video with respect to linguistic aspects during the assessment criteria of competence in using our uh, tour guiding material in French. The fifth uh, stage is data analysis sourced from result of the second to fourth stages and includes initial test, student development, um, and final result based on FOSS and FLE theory. The initial test uh, demonstrated that selected students did not have the necessary criteria. The teaching and learning process also showed that the French language proficiency of participants remained inadequate, with 85% of students being weak in two language skills, namely writing and speaking. However, by applying previous studies result, we were able to overcome this, these challenges by providing regular lessons through offering students a flexible assignment deadline, offering an adaptive time and learning space to ask questions through WhatsApp group about the teaching materials given and being allowed to use uh, information and communication technology to accomplish tasks. The presenting reference observations, imitation, and memorization activities, as well as regularly practicing using uh, the language help, have helped students to more easily understand uh, the teaching materials and later be able to produce the expected language output in both oral and written form. Working in a small group uh, of three students is also a helping factor whereby they share what they have learned with others in the group who have missed a teaching session or encourage one another in the objective of finishing the project. Various activities uh, type have also made the students to be enthusiastic, participate actively, and improve their comprehension in the material and in the French pronunciation system. This can be seen from the teaching process time that becomes shorter than planned. 
This shows that extending learning times could be satisfactory if learning conditions are enjoyable, encouraging, and not stressful. Uh, through the collected data, it appears that students with highest points are always present on time with every synchronous lesson. The majority of the student participation was seen more often by Google Meet rather than a WhatsApp group. This is because the time for Google Meet is always reminded beforehand so that the students are prepared while their attention on WhatsApp group could be sidetracked by other activities. Nevertheless, figure two shows that they sometimes are ready before the lessons even begins. Um, I'm sorry, your time more, is two minutes more. Okay, moreover, they are also active in asking and answering questions during and after the class and discipline in submitting all of the assignments given. Quizzes are, popular, are a popular activity. Most students try their best to answer pronunciation and structural questions. A eagerness to reproduce what they have learned and memorize could be seen in their responses. Uh, the figure six shows that uh, with one month of this learning uh, process, the result is acceptable. Seeing the program as a whole, practically every student showed massive progress in understanding French especially in pronunciation and sentence structure. Thus, the A1, um, A1 activity is achieved before they started year 12. The, so, conclusion, the complementing activities of student-centered and customized French teaching trial with a specific purpose as a tour guide show that FOSS can be successfully used because it has a tangible result that can drive student motivation in learning French. In this case, to obtain level A1 competency. This outcome is consistent with the result discovered by, by Bilyalova, who stated that technology use in teaching with specific objectives could motivate learners. This motivation arises because FOSS teaching has clear learning objective. Hence, the final results are more apparent than a regular French teaching lesson with no specific objectives. We also found that the teaching approach in FLEUR, which is intended for face-to-face -face class, can be implemented for online distance teaching. For Indonesian high schools, especially state high schools, that tend to reduce teaching class time to a minimum using a minimum number of teachers for less popular languages, this procedure can be used to achieve minimum targets in this case, A1 French competency. Collaborative learning in groups can support teachers to address the subjects outside of the classroom. However, this study should be extended into more schools with different purposes than tourism. For example, hospitality traders, which might give more and better perspective to students with respect to professionalism. Thank okay. you. Thank you, Dr. Mirina. Thank you for such an informative and interesting paper presentation. Without further ado, we continue to the third presenter. Please welcome Ms. Naria Fitriani. It's already in here or not, Ms. Naria? Ms. Naria? Monitor, Ms. Naria? Okay. Ms. Naria is not here. We continue to Ms. Johanna Nilawati. Johanna Nilawati? Okay. Please turn on your microphone. Okay. The is yours. Please welcome. PT-nya sudah ada. Yes, already displayed here. Please, floor is yours. Ya, yeah, good morning everybody. Morning. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, before, I'm not perfect to English, but I will try, sorry. 
ya. Yeah. Uh, the purpose on the presentation is uh, Pancasila and the successful attitude of tolerance in multicultural society. The outline of this research is how can Pancasila be a measure the success of tolerance. This is my biography. This research has a purpose to know the meaning of religion, tolerance, value of Pancasila in the success of religion. Uh, the method used in this research is observation, interview, and documentation. And subject in this research has were people on the island, island of Sumba, uh, such as indigenous people, religion figure, migrant, uh, Sumba people, local and international tourists. Kedengeran? Ya. Uh, Indonesia is the large multicultural country in the world. This can be seen from a variety of cultural that a spirit varying region in Indonesia, such as diversity of ethnicity, ethnicity, language, religion, and custom which are struck together in our country symbol Wineka Tunggal Ika. Nah, this is a mind map. Uh, there are four important this that we di discuss topic. First, uh, what is tolerance? Uh, second, general de description of Sumba in tolerance Sumba. Uh, third, multicultural community in the archipelag. And the last, Pancasila as the basic of tolerance. Nah, first, Bineka Tunggal Ika is the motto of the Indonesian nation. This motto is written in the symbol of the state of Indonesia, namely the burung Garuda Pancasila, the concept of Bineka means acknowledging diversity, while the concept of Tunggal Ika means waiting unity, unity. Nah, Pancasila as a symbol of the state also serves as a benchmark of value of Indonesia society. It's this can be seen from the value of each point of the precept contained then such as divinity, humanity, unity, people, and justice. Nah, uh, I did this research instead first December 2019, uh, terus in February 2019 sampai Maret, uh, before the corona get even serious. Then uh, research selanjutnya saya gunakan melalui online. Uh -uh. Jadi, seperti wawancara dan lain-lain saya gunakan menggunakan online. Nah, uh, I will uh, this is I will explain the meaning of its perspective uh, bineka tunggal ika. This is my point point bineka tunggal ika, and I will explain the meaning of its perspective atau precept the first. Resep the God of atau ketuhanan yang Maha Esa yang kedua itu just and civil humanity uh, in Indonesia keadil, eh, ketuhanan yang Maha Esa dua kemanusiaan yang adil beradab tiga persatuan Indonesia empat kerakyatan yang dipimpin oleh hikmat bijaksanaan dan uh, yang terakhir ada keadilan sosial uh, multikultural the term multikultural has a range of meaning within the context of sociology of political philosophy and of Uh, use in sociology and everyday use. Use, for example, a culture pluralism in which various ethnic group collaboration and enter into dialogue with one another within having to uh, sacrifice particular identity. Untuk garis besarnya, multicultural is a term to describe a person view of the variety of life in the world or cultural policy and emphasize acceptance of diversity and the various kind of culture uh, multicultural that exists in community life regrading value system culture habit and their politics nah, this is my documentation in sumba uh, sumba is masuk ke negara eh bentuk kepulauan uh, definisi of Archipelag is archipelagic society is not a people without name for an identity or self concept and do not have a right to identity. The people of the archipelag like other community are a community that has a strong language, aspire, has a concise is culture and culture a privilege. Nah, 
This is Indonesia society is very unique with its diversity then character of its citizen is also different and unique according to the development of their region and their representative culture is uh, several cases uh, that have according in the past uh, we have seen that there have been many wars and conflict between culture and tribe that have occurred in Indonesia. This also a concern from the Indonesia people. Maybe it will be happen in the world area will be at tinggal. Yes, everyone will feel the same way where the war uh, that took place actually happened because there was no mutual understanding and trust. And also, there was no sense of mutual respect. Each of the considers that his own culture is the best or the most regret of the most dignified of the other culture. This is a definition toleransi. Lewat aja. Nah, hasil penelitiannya toleransi in Sumba. Hmm. After conducting interview and documentation, I found different tolerance value of the Islam Sumba berbeda dengan daerah-daerah se se sebelumnya seperti uh, Sabang, Jawa, dan juga uh, Kepulauan Rawan. Yang paling mencolok itu toleransi di Pulau Sumba. Uh, first, strengthen nasionalisme. Toleransi can show how much a person sense of a nationalist because people who have high tolerance usually will have a high sense of love for their homeland because he realized that Indonesia is plural country that has many different second strength brotherhood Indonesia consists of various kind of island island it also consists of various region with different culture which attitude tolerance everyone respect each other and given equality for even different. And third, creating harmony and peace. That is a sig. Everyone who has a sense of tolerance can refrain from imposing personal opinion. So that harmony will be maintained because they can understand each other that may peace will also follow. Uh, fourth, increase the power of by being tolerance it means that you respect and respect other religion with different faith than ours so when we are able to have attitude of tolerance this is my research uh, yang sebelah sini ketika wawancara dengan masyarakat sekitar asli suku Sumba dan ini adalah sekolah uh, apa sih sekolah keagamaan yang ada di Wangapu uh, untuk dokumentasi sekolah yang negerinya uh, belum sempat difoto karena emang keburu corona uh, jadi saya di sana penelitian hampir empat bulan supaya planologi jadi saya tahu bentuk-bentuk aslinya bagaimana tidak hanya sebagai pendatang ternyata emang toleransinya sangat tinggi dan nilai-nilai pancasilanya jauh lebih tinggi apalagi sekarang ada pilkada dan waktu kemarin ada sosialisasi corona uh, sumba ini termasuk Daerah yang walaupun tidak dijamah langsung oleh pemerintah perhatiannya, tapi mereka bisa mengatasi kendala mereka sendiri. Oke, okay, nah, time will be two minutes more. Yes, the toleransi is Kabupaten Sumba. Toleransi on the island of Sumba very high. This can be seen from this can be seen from the way they can live side by side with their respecting customer in Indonesia. Walaupun masih banyak budaya-budaya yang dianut seperti kawin lari dan lain-lain yang ber bertolak belakang dengan nilai-nilai Pancasila, tapi uh, pemerintah masih mengimbangi itu dengan uh, adanya peraturan-peraturan daerah. Selain itu, turis manapun sebagai da sebagai daerah wisata, mereka tetap mematuhi peraturan-peraturan yang ada di Sumba, dan di sana juga disediakan daerah-daerah uh, khusus pendatang. Uh, in addition, in developing tourism and natural protection, potensial the work together not drop each other there are unique this that sumbanese people do to respect the indigenous people uh, when a family is grieving or or all people came and turn to pick up mm, yes ada muslim community come and present ini garis besarnya yang tadi sudah saya jelaskan 
this is my socialisasi uh, this is oh, setiap uh, kelebihannya sumba setiap Desember dia mere, uh, mereka mengadakan festival toleransi di mana kemarin uh, penyelenggaranya itu umat Kristiani tahun sebelumnya ada Islam ada Muslim terus uh, tahun depan penyelenggaranya kalau nggak salah Hindu nah ini adalah pertandingan persahabatan dan ini sosialisasi masker kemarin nah konklusian Indonesia society is basically an indigenous people who sociology very strong ties to group however in Indonesia konteks Aduh, sorry. This in the form of ethnic, of religion, sentiment can actually be recorded in order to build a sense of nationality. And tolerance in the has basic for us to be able to create a life of peace and harmony. It's he decides for all human to live in peace and property with uh, culture. For this reason, let us Uh, all understand how important toleransi in a multicultural country because Indonesia is a multicultural society and has its own unique. It is under undeniable that we must also accept that Indonesia is a multicultural society based on Bineka Tunggal Ika. Thank you for attention. Uh, I will give back to moderator. Okay, thank you very much, Miss Johanna. Such an important. Informative paper. Without further ado, because the limitation time, you can stop the screen. I will invite Mr. Anggi Yoga Pramanda as the court speaker, please. You can share screen. Okay. Thank you very much, Mr. Anggi. Uh, thank you very much, um, Mr. Moderator. Um, today, I will present our uh, paper the title, with the title "The Formation of Social Capital and Civic Engagement in Society 5.0: View from Digital Citizen Education." So, this is a uh, paper written three authors, uh, and the first Anjuka Pramada, the second Mutaram, the three Rusnaili from. Uh, Universitas the Black Maret. Okay, uh, Industrial Revolution 4.0 is individual and easily by network. It's the other individual without being limited by space and time. The internet of a product of advance in technology and information has changed the pattern of human social interaction from the space to community. Community 5.0 mediated by device. The concept of society 5.0 is an answer to problem with the aim of justice, equality, mutual prosperity. So, as to create a super smart, super smart society. The fourth, the, reali the realization of society 5.0 aims to create the society where it can be solved very social challenge by incorporating innovation in the industrial revolution 5.0 that resulted in the formation of new social capital. Next. That online interaction can increase social capital be it bonding or bridging. However, there are two contradictory ideas regarding the impact of the internet on the individual social capital of its users. Uh, utilization of the existence of social capital in society has uh, influenced on economic growth, health, education, welfare, government, and governance. And then, uh, formation of a new social capital for the people of Kampung Cyber has a potential to be a good for civic education and to cultivate it in the aspect of civic engagement. In a social context, the era of digital citizenship requires citizens to be able to work and interact with other people in various circumstances and context. So, in this paper, I have uh, two the problems. The first, how to establish of new social capital and civic investment of the Kampung Cyber community. And the second, uh, 
how sample cyber program in digital sustainability perspective. This method, yes, this methodology, uh, uh, the research located in Kampung Cyber is uh, Labor Association Statistic, Patehan, Patehan, uh, Kraton District, uh, City of Yogyakarta, and then written of the paper with uh, qualitative method. Uh, and then in the study using file observation technique, interviewing several informants in Kampung Cyber who were selected based on purposive sampling and noble sampling techniques, including village administrator and several communities there. And then the validity test of the data used in this study used triangulation of SARS, the qualitative data, and analysis that the register will use in depth on the MELS and Haberman model. Result. The first establishment of new social capital and civic adjustment of the Kampung Cyber community. Social capital in the online world can occur as a tendency for the people to exchange information between individual and group. Even in the online world, social capital has very strong levels because usually in a community, there will be active, there, there are usually plain one of the manifest in the world of the internet. So this is what it what is meant by a new social capital. The Campus Cyber Program, which also the network association statistics work program as a goal building network heart association statistics into an internet based area. This Campus Cyber is like a measure between the virtual community and the real community because in the real life, they live together and the future life, they live from the same community. Success of empowering of the Kampung Cyber Program on their life, it can be assumed that there is strong trust in social capital owned by residents of Kampung Cyber. It's the social life of the community. Trust is a question in the public trust is the initiator of the Kampung Cyber program to make change through various development efforts. With the development of the internet access, Campus Cyber has completely replaced the title as a progressive village. It's carrying out development. Are currently, the access of the network in Campus Cyber is getting wider with the recognition of the Campus Cyber as an internet pilot. The internet is able to provide Space for social capital in the postmodern era, or it can be said the new social capital, so that the internet also creates new types of social interaction and civic investment in society. Second, Kampung Cyber Program in Digital Citizen Perspective. The aspect of skill developed to excite citizens in the 5.0 society era is inclusive literacy, global citizenship, and digital citizenship. The implementation of digital citizenship in Campus Cyber, the emphasis in on the use of digital technology tool to support people like promotion digital citizens done by fulfilling access to the technology, access to health, and access to security. And the element of digital citizenship. One, first, digital access with the existence, with the existence of the optical cyber network in every resident house. The resident of Kampung Cyber can access information more easily. Second, digital health and wellness. The application Siwarga provides information on the flat that on 151 residents. So that if someone access a such as a flood due to an accident, the resident or neighborhood association administrator can act the resident with the same blood to donate blood. Third, digital security. All residents can access the CCTV camera. With this access set of CCTV, it is effort to provide security for community and anticipate crimes such as the theft attack.
And then considering that the coverage of the chief sick education is not only in school, but also exists and much less in the community, Cyber cyber program has the potential to be fruitful for civic education and to participate in the civic engagement aspect. Sample cyber platform can add the real understanding without knowledge, space, and actual condition in the field and the then process with the hope that it can answer top unity needs and involve collaboration between the community and the campus. The social capital and civic investment in the citizens of Kampung Cyber when few from the Republican citizenship theory, Republican citizenship encompasses civic bonds which are different from individual bonds, liberal tradition, or group ties in communitarian tradition. In Republican citizenship, individual freedom lies in the guarantee of state security, which is under the, under the rule of law and the kindness of the citizen in giving participation. So, from the Republican tradition, citizenship has an ethical and legal dimension. I'm sorry, your time will be two minutes more. Okay, the conclusion. And the technology can help people to contact the value in the author. And technology has occupied the central position in social space, which opened up wide opportunities for spirit elements. So the, the new social capital is social capital that is utilized, virtual social, which makes the internet a place to utilize it. In the era of the citizenship, if we to respond to change in global society, and the challenge that accompanied by revitalizing uh, uh, citizenship education by preparing students to have economic competition, combat work productivity, global security, and the development of internet media are very crucial for the sustainable of democracy. Okay, I think enough. Thank you very much for attention. The time is for moderator. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Anggi. Such an interesting and unique paper. Without further ado, we continue to the fifth presenter. Uh, please welcome Mr. Ihsan. Mr. Ihsan. Mr. Ihsan? Yeah. Okay. okay, you can. The floor is yours. All right. PowerPoint, sebentar, PowerPoint-nya kok. Sebentar, PowerPoint-nya. Nah, share PowerPoint-nya. Belum, share. Belum. Nggak ikut teman atau apa gitu. PowerPoint-nya di, dari saya? Yes. Aduh. Share screen your PowerPoint. Oke, okay, guys. Sebentar, Mbak. Oke. Okay. Sebentar, Mbak. All right. Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, sebentar, Mbak. Sudah masuk ya, Mbak? Oh, oke. Okay. Already display. Uh, udah kelihatan perpoinnya, Mbak? Oke, okay, it's already sudah. display. Yes. Sudah kelihatan? Oke. Okay. Yes. Terima kasih. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I, oke, okay, I will uh, press my present uh, study, study with the title <coughs> analysis of the exemplary of Buya Ahmad Rashid Sultan Mansur as enrichment in learning story at SMA Sri Surakarta. Next, mm -hmm. introductions in the development of information technology. At town initially, uh, this development was built in, in institutions in gates, gates uh, in the economy sector with uh, the industrial revolution revolution for zero as had in at impacts not only on new approaches 
but also on methodology and technology which in its development has an impact on various sense. Because in is it is time to be introduced to the community, especially academics. The skill that start student must have in the 20, 20, 20, 21st uh, century, as states by Griffin and Seagull. Among them, first critic, creativity, innovation, critical thinking, and the ability to solve problems. The ability to make the session and the ability to control cognitive aspect. Second, and namely communication, communication uh, cooperation skill. The their, their namely technology and information. Four, namely four, namely being 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 ability to become good citizen of society, having personal and social responsibility, having powerness, and having cultural competence. Um, the existence of the oops, the existence of the skill in story, educator, and educator as a giant of the child must be able to to the to to, to get the upskill technological development and decide creative and innovative learning. Regarding of the opinion of Griffin and Seagull, the above uh, historical learning about the analysis of exemplary of the Amadrasi Sutamensu example is also needed in order to bio very skill the art very much needed by student in the 20th, 20, 20th or 20, 21st century. They be, they refer in the historical learning process, the exemplary analysis of we are system on forum for uh, learning process, the exemplary, the proving critical creative innovation, critical thinking, the in the ability to solve problem formations community communications skill and student communication skill uh, must decide this uh, the and cooperation the ability to use the technology is in historical learning related to the exemplary analysis of buya Ahmad Rashid Sutan Mansur is very realized in various role model that can save student into Ahmad into good citizen. The wrong exemplary role role model role model ability to make a good personality and useful useful for a very day live. But starting from the school in fear and fear of men, family, and society. The next research for us, analyst of analyst the exemplar of William Rashid Sultan Mansur as enrichment in learning history at SMB Muhammad Dia Sri Surakata. Next research method. The in this study, the results use qualitative method. Qualitative research. Next is a scientific effort. The the script is certain social situations that describe reality correlate which is formed by work and is based on the technique for collecting analysis of relevant data entirely from natural situation. With the discourse analysis of frauds, uh, data were collected the wrong as of surfacing in the in depth interview and com in documentation study with interactive interactive analysis by Niles and Huberman. The next research uh, and discussions. Number one, the identifications of Guyama Rashid Tamansur 
exemplary values enrichment as enrichment in story learning at SMA Sri Surakarta. Namely, a character and scholar who deserves to be humiliated must have <coughs> must have uh, maaf, Aduh. must have uh, must have exemplary uh, including religions uh, values nationalism values leadership values independent values uh, in right stance to implementations of uh, historical learning on the example of Buya Ahmad Rashid Sita Mansur and SMA Muhammad Diyah Sri Surkata has the running guides real and effectively in the learning process. Next, Com process during the COVID-19 pandemic around the Google Classroom in the teacher learning as referred to the 2013 uh, curriculum 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 and complete learning to the consist of the syllabus lesson plan and implementing the exemplary values of we are let teacher and time implementing uh, implementing story learning at as memory high school surakarta namely in acquired the uh, adequate learning resource in inside in space uh, learning time due to due to the difference character of student next that's uh, now from me for your attention and cooperation i thank you Thank you very much, Mr. Thank you for delivering us such interesting paper. Without further ado, because the day time, we continue to the fifth and uh, the sixth yes. presenter. Yes. Sis Naria already here. Sis Naria, Miss Naria. Okay, Miss Naria. Miss Naria. The floor is here, Miss Nadia. Miss Nadia, you can hear me, Miss Nadia. Okay. Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Oke, okay, you can begin. Oke, okay, assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Oke, okay, good morning presenters and moderator. Now today I would like to present about my research vocational college students writing progress during language acquisition with my friend Sabar Niati. Okay, for the introduction, in the college, uh, all of the students have to write uh, and show their English ability, uh, at least uh, on their English abstract. Uh, the students are in final year, so uh, they need to write a final project. And then on the final project, they have to write an English abstract. <clears throat> so what I uh, want to know about uh, this uh, issue is about the writing progress. Uh, it includes students' motivation, students' habit, and uh, their work, students' English abstract. And then for the questions, 
I have to, uh, they are, how does the student's attitude toward writing progress? It means that uh, how their habit and motivation during uh, the language acquisition. And then the last one is, are the students having the progress during the language acquisition? For the review, uh, I divide it into three. First one is motivation. It's like uh, Lay said that it refers to those reasons that underline behavior that is characterized by willingness and affiliation. And then the writing habit is beneficial for to improve their writing proficiency. And the last one, it is about the <clears throat> extrinsic and intrinsic uh, motivation. Okay, this method is qualitative. So I we did the interview uh, with five semi-structured interview questions on 22 students. Why only the 22 students? Because uh, the interview uh, held on the students who had finished their abstract. So we uh, asked about uh, we asked the questions on the students who uh, had uh, the the writing abstract, and then the students who had the experience during the learning language and then uh, during the interview we record to get the data for the result we can see that 100 percent of them uh, agree that uh, they have their teacher or lecturer give them motivation and then 50 percent believe that they had pretty confidence in writing. Almost 60 percent said that they have less motivation because of the sported facilities. <clears throat> and almost 70 percent stated that they have lack of writing practice uh, outside the classroom. And the last one, 70. 7.3% believe that they have progress during learning English. So it is when I can, we can see that even 100% students uh, believe they have, uh, they receive the motivation from the teacher or lecturer. Uh, it doesn't mean that they did uh, writing practice at home because only 45.5% uh, did the practicing and then almost 60% said that they have the motivation uh, related to the facilities and the second one we can see that 77% have progressed during the target language instruction and then it <clears throat> connect to 50 percent only the students uh, who pretty have uh, confidence in writing English okay for the discussion like Ali Zayada said the role of the motivation is to manufacture in language development and then like Mahdi and Javari said about intrinsic and extrinsic motivational strategies to promote effective and successful language class. And the last one is Nalitif Thiel and Mahasne, who verified their student strategies in translation become, become a barrier to English writing competence. Okay. And to conclude that, by giving motivation to learn writing, the students who did practice writing English at home felt confident to write English. And then with lecturer support uh, motivation, they realized the language progress since they learned English at the college. So they uh, improve uh, their English skill. And then for further study, uh, we recommend 
to investigate how the teacher or lecturer promote motivation in the writing class. And then the student's learning progress should be measured in specific educational tools. Because of that, thank you for uh, listening and attention to my presentation. And thank you very much, for Maria, for such a good and clear information. Uh, again, we continue to the seventh presenter. Is Miss Sri Suningsi already in here? Miss Sri Suningsi? No? Okay. Continue to Miss Lydia Ayuni Putri. Are we in here or not, Miss Lydia? Miss Lydia? Okay. Okay. I can continue again to Miss Yuni Sudiasi. Miss Yuni Sudiasi. I already see Miss Yuni Sudiasi. Okay. Miss Yuni Sudiasi. Can you hear me, Miss Yuni Sudiasi? Okay. Yes, okay. I am here. Okay. The floor is yours, Miss Yuni. Okay. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let me introduce myself first. My name is Yuni Sudiasi. Today, sorry, can can you see my screen? I can see it clearly. Okay. Today, I want to tell you about my paper titled "Building Independence and Responsibility of the Students Through the Online Learning." For the introduction, that the building character was, was the educational function that must be achieved through the learning process, both offline and online. And for it, we need cooperation and good communication were needed between student, teacher, and parents to overcome the kind of obstacle. The competence of teachers in providing learning experiences and method were needed to make its students enjoy learning. Parents' companionship and support were expected to have an impact on the development of independent and responsible character for the children. In this research, I want to tell you about various efforts in building independence and responsibility of students in online learning, especially in SMA Negeri One to Mijaja. The method, this research used use qualitative method with 66 students from Grade 11 IPS 3 and 11 IPS 4 SMA N1 to Mijajar as the subject. Data collection was conducted by questionnaire and interview method. An analysis of research data used the Mills and Hoberman analysis consists of data reduction, data display, getting, and verification, verification of conclusion. Result and the discussion. The first, the process of online learning of online learning, it starts from teacher create the online class and input the student in the class. Why? Because uh, in our school, in our school in the research location, we use, synchro we use asynchronous, example using uh, Google Classroom, digital class, Kaiza Microsoft Kaizala, and WhatsApp group. The second part, teacher manage the class by giving material teaching, assignment, question, and discuss them. And the third, teacher, student, and student find the solution of the problem discussed. And this time, I found that there was a tendency for students not to follow online learning even though they didn't actually have any obstacle. They didn't have any problem with the network connection or unavailable internet code, but they said that they were in trouble. It was actually just a reason given to the teacher. They kept doing on they kept doing doing online activities such as played online game and social media. As for the loading learning apps, they gave reason that their Android memory was not enough. In fact, it could be done by removing other application less useful to students, but they were reluctant to do it. To solve it, teacher had to skill in managing online classes. Teacher posted materials, assignment, or question to be discussed by the student. Teacher and student then discuss it as they done in the real class. Teacher could see the depth of students thinking way to respond problem. 
the second part building independent character through online learning from the table we could see that student independence in the implementation of online learning could also be seen from the enthusiasm of students to complete the task given by the teacher the majority of students are about 57 respondents completed the task without help from others. And then some admitted that they only cheated on a friend's completed assignment. It was because of the other friend of the other student uploaded the, the task in online classes. To anticipate it, teacher asked them to send the task individually to the teacher. The third part, building responsibility teacher through online learning. In online class, teacher also provided discussion material related to the subject matter or difficulties in online learning. Student participated in discussion activities and gave solution to the problem that was being discussed. In the discussion forum, it was clear that the interaction between teachers and students were or between students occurred without time and space limitation to make the student re responsible for the online learning activities the teacher gave various tricks one of them was awards and warning to students and parents the fourth part the communication between parents teacher and children from the table, we know that it indicated that the intensive communication between parents and teachers should be happened. So parents understood every complaint from the children. On the contrary, complaints submitted by the child to the teacher can be known by the parents. If parents and teacher had already known and understood about the difficulties of online learning, then they could find the best solution for the problem. The conclusion is learning activities during the COVID-19 pandemic should still be carried, be carried out without the aim of forming a character that was in accordance with the expectation of society, religion, nation, and country. Self-sustaining values and responsibilities were certainly one of the main character that must be formed in, in in students online learning on the one hand was an alternative to choose from although the other hand we had to be prepared to face online learning as a necessity the most important thing was that the spirit of learning had to be maintained in on in every person, whether teacher, parent, society, and especially student. Okay, thank you very much, and I'll be back to the moderator. Okay, thank you very much, Miss Yuni Without further ado, thank you for delivering us such an informative paper. I will continue to the first again, the Fauz, Miss Fauzia Sri Wahyuni, last call for Miss Fauzia. Not in here, okay. For Miss Trisna Ningsi, I already see it, Miss Trisna Ningsi. Can you hear my voice, Miss Trisna Ningsi? Monitor, Miss Trisna Ningsi. This is your last call for presented your paper. Okay, Miss Trisna Ningsi. Okay, and last call for Miss Sri Suningsi. Miss Sri Suningsi. Okay, no. Last call again for Miss Lydia Ayuni Putri. Miss Lydia. Okay, I can see Miss Tris Naningsi in here. Miss Tris Naningsi, can you hear my voice? This is your last call for present your paper, or oh, I will not. Take your attendance for the parallel session, Mr. Snaningsi. Can you hear me? Or is there any problem for, for the your electric or your connection, Mr. Snaningsi? Okay. Because you are not 
answering my voice. Maybe I can just close this session. We continue to the discussion session. I invite uh, the presenter for three questions to ask to ask another paper. You can mention your name and whom you want to ask to. From the floor, is there any question? I invite three questions for the presenter. Just raise your hand or chat in the box. No? There's no question? Okay. Last call for Miss please, please, Tris see. Okay, Miss Miss Tin want to ask question. Just uh, unmute your microphone, microphone Miss Tin. Okay, thank you. Uh, can I ask for two presenters? Okay. <laughs> they, are, they are such interesting material. Uh, for the first is for Miss Naria. Naria is uh, discussing about the writing skills. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, I want to know about how to increase the motivation of the students in writing skills in this pandemic since uh, for the writing skills, uh, we do not need face-to-face uh, -face lecturing and uh, we can use asynchronous by using our media online. Uh, but in your research, uh, there is still such uh, students that uh, think that uh, a writing skill uh, they cannot do because of home. Uh, they cannot do this writing at home. And then the second one is for Miss uh, Yuni. Uh, <clears throat> character building in this pandemic era is a trending issue. And uh, we cannot uh, close our eyes that most of students uh, is getting stressed now because of their assignment. And uh, I want you to explain about the technique how to anticipate the for the assignment done by the students that uh, completed by parents uh, we know that uh, most of our friends in our neighbors uh, will do the their children assignment of school and sometimes uh, the one who getting stress is not the students but uh, the parents. Uh, thank you. Okay, thank you very much for Miss Tin. Such a good question. I allow to Miss Naria to answer the first question first. Miss Naria, the time is yours. Okay, thank you for the questions, Miss Tin. So, your question is how to increase the students' motivation uh, in writing English during this pandemic. Uh, based on my experience, I think for students to, to keep writing, so we start not only from their self, themselves, but also for us as a teacher, um, we can give them uh, the task for the writing task uh, regularly and then uh, after giving the task, don't forget to uh, keep giving them feedback, for example, because writing without uh, giving feedback make them bored because they don't know is it uh, the right one or the wrong one. But in the pandemic, uh, it is hard to know their uh, real competence, you know that uh, it's easy for them to uh, like translate on online media. Uh, I think it's uh, hard to see their ability. I mean the their real ability. But as a teacher, we just need to keep them to motivate them because keep writing 
uh, make them uh, better in the language skill like uh, people said uh, practice makes perfect i think that's my answer miss dean okay Okay, to the question, I allow Miss Yuni to answer the question. Miss Yuni, the floor is yours. Okay, thank you for Miss Tin for the question, and I I will try to uh, answer it. But I'm sorry if uh, in the middle maybe I will use Indonesia because I'm not uh, as fluent well as uh, in English. Yeah. Okay. The uh, the first. And the main important, the, the very, very important. I will tell to the parents that the most important thing is how that this assignment that I gave to the class, to the online class, is not a tidak selalu harus dijawab atau diselesaikan at the time. But the most important is how to keep the learning fire burning in student. Why? Uh, because uh, saya mengalami ketika anak saya diberikan tugas. Sorry ya. <laughs> uh, saya mengalami ketika anak saya diberikan tugas. Uh, example, to wash the plate. Uh, it is a simple task. Uh, to sweep the floor. Hanya tugas yang sederhana. And then, Uh, I have to take a picture. Kemudian saya mengambil foto. Then my my, uh, my daughter say, "Mom, I'm finished." Gitu. Please take the picture of me. Uh, Ibu, saya sudah selesai. Tolong di foto. And I say, uh, "Saya tidak perlu pencitraan. Belajar bukan sebuah pencitraan, but uh, learning is penjiwaan." Seperti jadi saya sampaikan seperti itu terhadap anak. Jadi ketika si anak ini tidak bisa menyelesaikan pada waktunya, memang saya memberikan kelonggaran waktu. Yang penting anak ini mau mengerjakan. Dan yang penting lagi dalam situasi pandemi itu anak belajar di rumah. Jadi tetap menyalakan api belajar. Keep the learning fire burning in student at home. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. How about the answer, Miss Tin? Already satisfied or not? Okay, thank you very much. I invite again one question from for the floor, for the floor. One question more. Is there any question for the floor? No. Okay. Last call for Mistress Naningsi. Because I already see your name here. Can you hear my voice, Mistress Naningsi? No. Okay, because I, I cannot take your attendance if you not present your paper. Mr. Snellingsi, last call. Okay, I already called it for five, five time. Okay, we can close this session if there isn't any more question. Thank you very much for all the presenters. We can give applause Wait. for... Yeah. Okay, applause. Thank you very much for presenting all your paper. And I remind you again, you can leave your Zoom right now and take a rest. Please be sure to join again to the Zoom link in your email because we, we have already a three, the third and the fourth keynote speaker at afternoon, 15.30. Don't forget to join again. And also the afternoon attendance list will be shared at 15.30. So be sure, don't forget to rejoin again at the same link in your email. Thank you very much for all the presenter. You can leave now. Uh, I hope this presentation give you a broad information about the paper in social humanities education. Thank you very much again. Before we close again, we, we have uh, to take a picture. To take a picture, plus turn on your camera. Okay, I will take your picture. Okay, are you ready? I count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twen
two, three. Again, different style maybe. Okay, because I'm in Lampung, maybe I L. Okay, take it, one, two, three. Okay, thank you very much for this session. You can take a rest. Make sure to join again us and at 15.30. Jangan lupa kita join di link awal di 15.30 ya Bapak Ibu. Untuk ada attendance list listnya, lalu ada presentation dari keynote speaker yang ketiga dan yang keempat. Oke, okay. okay, saya tutup sekarang. I can close now. Thank you very much again. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. Uh, question of uh, the attendance list for the parallel session. Uh, attendance list, so there is no attendance list or link for the parallel session because I already take the attendance list. Thank you very much, Bapak Ibu. Wassalamualaikum Thank you. Bye. 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 Okay, you may leave the chat. Okay, thank you, thank you. Mistress Naring C. Uh, no, there is no response for Mistress Naring C. Okay. okay, you may leave the. You may leave this breakout Zoom, Bapak Ibu bisa meninggalkan Zoom ini. Nanti join kembali di main Zoom yang telah dikirimkan di email masing-masing yang tadi pagi, bisa join kembali di 15.30, Bapak Ibu. Kalau yang parallel session sudah saya tutup, ya, boleh. Baik, Bu. Uh, terima kasih. Oke, okay, terima kasih. Nanti join kembali ya, Mas, ke yang 15.30. Baik. Oke. Okay. Oke. Okay. Mbak Gung Sinta, oh ya, oke. Okay. Ini langsung boleh keluar ya, Bu? Ya, ya boleh keluar. Nanti rejoin lagi ke link yang awal ya, Mas ya. Oh, oh ya. Oh, ya. Yang tadi pagi. Baik. Ya, oke. Okay. Uh, oke, okay, Mbak Gung Sinta. Uh, iya, uh, Mbak Dian mau tanya untuk saya dapatnya yang link ini nanti yang di session berikutnya. Uh, yang parallel session yang kedua, ya, oh, uh, uh, itu nanti dimulai jam satu, Mbak. Oh, jam satu ya? Oh iya. Ya. Oh. Terima Dengan kasih. Itu, boleh saya tahu nama nanya, namanya Mbak Gu? Gusti Ayu Agung Sinta Diarini. Oh ya, ya itu jam satu ya Mbak. <laughs> jam satu kita mulai kembali. Gimana Mbak? Jam satu ya. Ah ya, lip dulu boleh. Nanti masuk lagi kembali oh, jam ke jam satu. Jam satu ya, Budi. Iya betul. Oke. Okay. Jam satu. Thank you. Terima kasih. Terima kasih. Ini Mbak Trisna Ning sih. Kemana? hadir tidak menjawab dan merespon oke dia tapi tidak merespon
Oke, okay, Bapak Ibu. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Oke, okay, the time is already 13:15. We can continue and open this session. This is a room for operal sessions session session 2. Open our meeting by saying basmalah first. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. To all the presenter, we have a uh, eleven presenter to the session two. Before uh, the presentation begin, I allow me to share you the regulation of the presentation first. The first regulation is uh, all the presenter try to use English to present their paper, and then for the PPT PPT file. Uh, you will you will share the PPT file by your own. So if I invite you or I call no, uh, or I call your name, please just click the share screen down below, and then you can directly share your PPT to us. And then uh, each presenter for the time of representation is 10 minutes only, not more than 10 minutes because of limitation of our time. So make sure your presentation and your speech will be only 10 minutes only. And I will be your timekeeper and I will tell you if already three minutes left, okay? And then after the session, you can leave this Zoom and back to the main Zoom uh, to, to listen to the third and the fourth keynote speaker at the main Zoom room that already, that the link already sent to you in your email. So. After this session, you can you can back to the main Zoom, and then uh, for the discussion uh, discussion session or answer and question session will be held in the end of the end of the session uh, after all the presenter is present their their paper and make sure to turn on your camera if you want if you want to uh, deliver your presentation. Okay, okay. Without further ado, I will call the first presenter. In my schedule is Miss Yunta Fiana is already here. Miss Yunta Fiana, ready. Oh, Miss Yunta Fiana, yes. the time is yours. Ten minutes. You can okay. share. Your... Okay. Yeah. Udah? Already? Yes. Display. Ready. Okay. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Good afternoon, everyone. Nice to meet you all. Mm, now let me start the presentation. Okay. COVID-19 pandemic has an impact on changing learning method from face-to-face -face learning to online learning. One activity that we are initially carried out in school because of the pandemic must be carried out at home. This learning method then makes many teachers use a variety of online learning medium as an alternative in learning. But in fact, actually, cause many complaints from students. The existence of uh, this condition raises a question. Whether the application of online learning is effectively applied? So, to answer this question, I'm Yunta Fianin Viradrahmawati, a graduate student at 11 Maret University, wants to invite all of audience to listen my topic discussion about effectiveness of application online learning as alternative learning in the COVID-19 pandemic period in economic subject in high school. So that's my introduction. 1919 will be a historical year for the development of human life since outbreak of the case regarding of the coronavirus had that occurred in Wuhan, China at the end of 2019. This virus has become a trending topic discussed throughout the world. Indonesia is one of the country in the world that can be spread from the outbreak of COVID-19. Various anticipation we are made to break the chain of COVID-19 distribution, social distancing, lockdown, rapid tests, and in some area have imposed large-scale social restriction. 
the existence of this pandemic initially had an impact on health and the economy, but more broadly, it also has an impact on education sector. This research examines from more deeply about the systematic of the implementation of the of learning during COVID-19 pandemic in economy subject, including the challenge by teacher in choosing learning media as an alternative to learning in the face to the COVID-19. Alternative learning solution in the face of the COVID-19 COVID pandemic and effectiveness of application of online learning as an alternative to learning during the COVID-19 pandemic in economic subject. Okay. Research method. This study uses a qualitative research approach. The data in this set study is divided into two data, namely primary data and secondary data. There are three kinds of data collection technique, observation method, interview method, and documentation method. And for an data analysis technique, um, I'm aware the method of qualitative analysis data uses Miles and Huberman. That is data collection, data reduction, reduction, data display, and conclusion drawing or verification. Research, research, research result and discussion. The application of online learning is applied in almost an all student in code economic basis on research data. There are 70, 97% response explaining that in the learning is carried out online on all subjects in code economic. At the number of respondents, there are 75.9 percent responses that state that a teacher can use various online learning applications or facilities which are considered to facilitate access in delivery or learning to students. Okay. Based on data collection by the research, there are 75.9% responses explaining that teachers use mailing lists such as WhatsApp group to communicate with students. And there are 69% responses which explain that teachers prefer to implement Google Classroom based on online learning. Furthermore, there were two. 34.1% responses who carried out video conference based online learning. And in an effort to make it easier for teachers to deliver learning material, teachers usually take teaching objects that are there on the internet and then modify them to attract more student interest in learning independently. And for constraint phase, constraint phase by teacher, then when the learning pattern change from face to face to online, based on research data obtained by research, the application of a learning carried out by teacher online. In fact, affect the performance teacher for teachers who are young under 40 years, there are no <coughs> when learning is done online. But for teachers whose uh, technological skills are lacking due to a lack of uh, update and teacher over 40 years of age find it difficult to 
online learning, therefore training is a need that they can assist teacher in learning online. The implementation of online learning requires very high cost for providing internet quota, procedural standard mass smartphone for online use, a strong internet signal network, and not to mention if there are questions that are difficult for students. Of course, the problem is that teacher and student complain about have a hard impact on the effectiveness of the application of online learning. Sorry, your time is three minutes more. Oh, yes. And for alternative learning solution in the face to the COVID-19 pandemic, it economic in high school. Sorry. The development of e-learning is a need to improve the quality of learning. Teacher can be more innovative when using online learning platform because teacher can modify their learning to be more innovative by using the learning facility available to the platform so the students are more motivated and learning objective can be achieved. And for effectiveness of application, online learning is a challenge in itself for teachers because learning is because teachers are required to be more creative and innovative in providing learning material so that students can learn independently and students don't get bored easily. When few in terms of its effectiveness in the application of online learning by online learning is indeed effective because many learning features can be used by teachers in providing learning to students can actually help teacher to provide material in a more innovative way way and for conclusion therefore the implementation of online learning provide an interesting experience for teacher and student therefore the application on on of online learning as an alternative to learning by use utilizing online learning platform has been proven to to be effective during the COVID-19 pandemic and economic subject in high school as a form of implementation of learning and working at working at home policy. Although basically uh, the implementation of learning is more effect efficient during face-to-face -face learning, this is still difficult to implement due to the soaring case of the COVID-19 pandemic. Okay, thanks for okay, thank my you very much. presentation. Okay, thank you very much, Ms. Yunta Fiani. Yes. For delivering us such an informative and interesting paper. Because of the time, you can stop the share screen and I will continue to the next presenter. The second presenter, I will invite Ms. Dita Rosa Utami. Is already here, Ms. Dita. Okay, Miss Yunta, please uh, stop the share screen first. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Uh, and then Miss Lesa Paranti already here. Miss Lesa. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, thank you, Mr. Miss Lesa Paranti. The time is yours. Okay, thank you. Okay, hello everyone. Uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Safaranti. I will present my paper about the adaptation strategy of Semarangan dance uh, style learning method in UNES during COVID-19 pandemic era. The introduction, um, university is one of the agents that plays a role in the preservation of traditional dance, including touch learning in course. But uh, COVID-19 outbreaks requires lectures to, able, to be able to adapt. Lecturers are encouraged to carry out online learning, including dance learning that is practical. Uh, so 
uh, Bay Casting and Jay say that the right dance learning method will affect students' ability to absorb and explore their potential for the better. So I will focus on my paper about the adaptation strategy of Semarangan dance styles learning method. The method that uh, used in my paper or my research is mixed method research. Mixed method is uh, the development of a research type that combines qualitative and quantitative research characteristics. Qualitative research is used in describing adaptation strategy in Semarangan dance learning method. And quantitative research is used as a tool in retrieving data in the form of students' responses in one class. Uh, I took the data, touch, observation, interview, documentation, and questionnaire. And the result first about Semarangan dance style. Uh, the emergence of Semarangan dance begins with the presence of Gambang Semarang. It's a performance art which combines music, dance, song, art, and comedy. So dance form in Gambang Semarang and performing art does not have particular perform pattern, but it contains various distinctive motion such as ngeyek, wondek, and genjot. Denok dance is one of Semarangan dance style that learned in Tari Pesisiran Jawa Tengah girls. So I will focus on uh, Denok dance in Semarangan dance style. Denok dance online learning no longer on options. Uh, UNES has an LMS or uh, learning management system called ELENA that used to online learning. In the online learning of Den of Dance, the lecturer has not utilized ELENA to its full potential. Uh, the learning activities are mostly done through Google Classroom, Zoom, and WhatsApp group. So uh, there are more than one LMS. The adaptation strategy of Semarangan dance learning method. So uh, the selection of the dance learning methods are based on the situation in the classroom, such as in classroom, uh, the lecturer have to know about the potential or the condition of the students, and then the material that is being touched, such as uh, the dance of dance, we have to know about the part of dance so we can divide it into some meeting and we can, uh, uh, he can uh, conclude about the part of the, and the Elena or uh, about the teaching material. Next, the competence of the facility. The result of adaptation strategy of Semarangan dance learning method, uh, the first, uh, the lecture use collaborative method. It combines several methods in one meeting by using more than one learning platform. And the second, reduce lecture method. The lecture make important points in a PowerPoint video uploaded to Elena and Google Classroom. And see, the demonstration method is still used, but in the form of videos. It minimizes direct virtual meeting with the student without Zoom meeting. Zoom is only used in the urgent situation. The students can repeatedly play the videos whenever and wherever. The videos are divided into several parts according to the material per meeting. D, the drill method is done indirectly by assigning the students to send the videos of their learning outcomes of 10 of 10. This assignment makes the students practice repeatedly until they get good results. And the lecturers keep using the question and answer method by giving the students opportunity to ask touch the comment section in the Google Classroom or WhatsApp group. The question and answer can be done between students to see their activities and level of understanding of the material. They review that this carried out online can increase positive feedback. Based on the result of a survey of 14 students participating in Gen of Dance Learning, 92.5% of the students strongly agree that learning methods used by the lecture can support the effectiveness of learning goals and 15% of students feel that the method is easily accepted. The results indicate in general the method is acceptable and facilitates the students to learn about the dance. 
So the conclusion, COVID-19 outbreak has brought Semarang and dance learning in UNES to be done online. However, it creates opportunities for the lecturer to be creative and adaptive by formulating the appropriate learning method to achieve learning goals. Based on several considerations, in choosing learning methods, lectures use collaborative learning, which utilize various learning platforms such as Selena, Google Classroom, WhatsApp Group, and Zoom. Lectures make a video which contain lesson materials, evaluation, and assignments to be shared with the students. Lectures and the situ institutions continue to strive to optimize online learning during this pandemic. Oke, okay, thank you. Terima kasih. Matur nuwun. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you for Miss Lisa, Lisa Paranti for such a brief and clear information of your paper. Oke, okay, we can continue again to the next presenter, Miss Joy Sana Cahyani. Ada? Is there a Mrs. Joy yes, Sana? Yes, I'm here. Okay, thank you very much. The time is yours. You can share your screen now. Thank you. Could I could I uh, invite Ismirani Madalena with me as a second author? Okay, please. Okay. It's okay. You can see the presentation, the PPT. Not yet, for example. Not yet, book. Not yet. Not yet, not yet. Okay. So the machine can pada. Or I can ask maybe Ismi to share the PPT, Ismi. I try uh, mm -hmm. sebentar. Okay, maybe the uh, moderator can. Okay, I will ask uh, moderator first for uh, give you permission to share screen my to share my screen, maybe. Uh, because the PPT, I don't have your uh, the presenter of PPT. The, the regulation is the presenter itself to display the PowerPoint file. Okay, can, can you give a uh, give me a permission to uh, share okay. my screen? Maybe I already give a permission. Okay, sebentar. Hmm. Because I use. I still try, yeah. Because I use the handphone, I hope it. Um... Okay. Nah, ini bisa kelihatan enggak? Belum bisa saya no. coba. I will Not try. Yet. Not yet. Okay. For not me yet. I can uh, not yet, Bu. Okay. Belum ya. Sebentar. No, semoga saya bisa. Hmm. Oh, Oke, okay. okay. thank you, you me. Oke. Okay. Okay, thank you. So, hello everyone. Today I will present our article uh, entitled "Songs as French Language and Culture Distance Teaching Strategy." Like the other one, the precedent previous uh, presenters, the COVID-19 pandemic that has occurred 
thus far has changed the worldview in all aspects of life, including in education, in our uh, work. This teaching is a teaching method that must be implemented at all le levels of education, including in teaching foreign language, and in this context is a uh, French language. The challenge of teaching foreign language nowadays is not only technology, but also distance. Foreign language teachers are required to be able to harmonize, harmonize distance teaching with digital technology. This article aims to devise appropriate strategies for processing songs as a medium for foreign language distance teaching, especially French song for French language teaching, uh, French uh, language and culture teaching. We selected two songs, Les Frangines, and uh, a song Donnez-moi from Les Frangines and Casablanca uh, from the Francophone uh, singer Satam Jaret. Used as a corpus can also show both implied and implicit cultural aspects. Uh, there are several articles that uh, written for the same subject. Uh, the importance of using songs to teach language and culture based on previous re research. Uh, I will not uh, read all the previous uh, research, research, but we can uh, go directly to our analysis. Please, it's me. Okay, the methodology uh, using in this uh, article is qualitative design and uh, we've, uh, we've used the experience, the French language teacher, teacher's experience in using a song French language teaching media. There are 10 French language teachers in LBI, Lembaga Bahasa International from our faculty, faculty of humanities in university in universitas indonesia that uh, use songs for uh, teaching uh, french language uh, as i said uh, the corpus of the research is the song donemo by a music uh, by uh, by uh, le frangine and as the song entitled casablanca from sam lazaret a french moroccan so we the study was conducted in three stages. The first one is the deconstruction of both songs using language and culture teaching. The second one is the identification of language teaching materials and cultural content in the songs. And the third one, the late one is, the last one is the creation of teaching design of remote, remote language and culture teaching through songs. Okay, it's me. Next, please. The result, uh, so uh, first we separated uh, the levels from uh, language teachings. Uh, as we know, there are six uh, levels in the French or European language teaching is uh, uh, A1, A2, B1, B2, C1, and C2. And for this uh, research, we've just uh, selected the level, the first level, uh, A1 and A2, to uh, to analyze the corpus, the corpus, and uh, like as we we can see in the table, we we are using the teaching materials and the indicators from the song. Okay, it's me. From the French song, uh, Donnez-moi, or uh, Give Me, uh, we can learn uh, certain objectives like the names of the four seasons, uh, the, the names of the uh, four seasons that uh, we cannot uh, find in Indonesia. And uh, after that, we develop uh, the material, the teaching materials from the songs, uh, like the French people habits and common holidays, memories, uh, etc. 
Okay, is me. And the out the, the output is the ability to tell. No, <laughs> you could you back to the previous slide, is me please. Okay, and okay, okay. The ability to tell that, uh, uh, like describe the pref uh, the preferred season both orally, uh, orally or uh, in writing. And only the ability to tell or describe holiday memories in a particular particular season, both orally and in writing, uh, because we know that the the teaching uh, the language teaching uh, describe as uh, oral and listen, and so the result of the 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 article the the research is me next please. Implicit culture can be found by seeing a song as discourse. So, after uh, after uh, talking about the diction or the words uh, in the song, we we use the we use the other the, uh, other theory to analyze the song, and the result is implicit culture can be found can be found by seeing a song as a discourse. By finding isotopy, isotopy is. Uh, a list of words that we can uh, find in the uh, in the song like uh, as corpus teacher will find the principal theme of the song for the first uh, song donne moi or give me the main theme of the song is love and uh, after that by using semiotic theory teacher will find more deeper of the sociocultural donne moi uh, as a semiotic sign uh, in this song, love in Donimoa, which is associated with giving, teaches us not to be selfish. And in the in the current social context, like uh, now, where material own condition of success and happiness, this song can be considered as a criticism of such condition. So, we uh, when we hear the song, we can. Uh, we can give, we can learn to give, to love, uh, etc. Just as the songs, uh, as, uh, just as the uh, song uh, Donne moi by Frangine, uh, Le Frangine. The second song, the song Casablanca used in this uh, research is the is sung by the Francophone uh, singer from Morocco and I'm sorry, yes, we, we, uh, this, yes, do you can hear, can you yes, hear yes, me? Yes. Okay. Yes. okay, the song Casablanca also presents the theme of love, but as a semiotic sign, love in Casablanca, not the same love we can find in the Done, in Done Moa. Love in Casablanca can be interpreted through a patriarchal perspective. So it's just different for men. Love cannot be used as a reason to curb their freedom. Gender discourse is often found in Francophone texts. Okay, next, me. Uh, we go back to the teaching, uh, language teaching. The teaching design shows that the development of intercultural uh, competence was more effective experience by intermediate level B1 and B2, B2 learners. The aspect of cultural knowledge, competence, uh, awareness and attitude were demonstrated, uh, demonstrated in the learning goals and outcomes of said level. Uh, in intermediate level learners, intermediates uh, B1 and B2, the language and culture learning goals are entirely met. Learners in this level can be said to be more prepared in the in the event that they need to spend some time in the target country. Country, for example, to pursue their education. And Zoom is the more the most ideal platform to support teaching activities due to uh, due to its variety of user intuitive features for both teachers and learners. Okay, and uh, as the commun communicative approach, also called communicational centre sur la pronoun, is in French, 
Uh, it was selected due to its learner-oriented approach that emphasizes on language function and pragmatics in communication. And the conclusion, teachers are recommended to study a singer, a singer background and the context. Uh, any song is essentially the potential to be used as a learning medium for foreigners learner, learners or friends from all levels. The language and culture teaching materials found in a song can be tailored to the learner's level. The same teaching materials can also be provided to learners at different levels, but with different outcomes that are appropriate to the level. So we can choose the level and we can uh, elaborate uh, the corpus uh, uh, with the level. The choice of teaching platforms are uh, also mm -hmm. contribute your sentence. Okay. Sentence because the time okay. is I'm truly sorry. Okay, okay. Okay, one minute, one minute. Uh, the most important is the semiotic analysis used in this study show that the song in a language class are one of the teaching aspects to motivate learners and develop interaction be between teachers and learners. Hope that we uh, hope that we, uh, with this uh, multidisciplinary research, uh, language and culture teachers can optimize the songs used in class for language teaching as well as culture. Teachers no longer only focus focus on teaching language, but uh, they also focus to both of it, language and culture. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much for Ms. Zuasana and Ms. Ismirani. Thank, Thank you for you. putting such an enlightening educative paper. Because of due to time, I continue to the next presenter, please. Please, I invite to Ms. Igusti Ayu Agung Sinta to present its paper. Ms. Gusti is already in this Zoom. Yes, I'm here. Okay, the time is yours. You can share your screen. Sure. You can see my PPT. This is already displayed. Thank you. Uh, introducing me. Uh, Agung Sinta Diarini will present the result of my research entitled The Effectiveness of the Mobile Learning Based on Project-Based Learning Model to Improve Student Critical Thinking Ability. Background my research online learning in the sample structure documented the course thinking of the COVID-19 pandemic has made the learning system change drastically from face-to-face -face meeting to online learning from home. Uh, the second, the ability to think critically is very important for students as an important asset to succeed in life and be able to solve the problem at hand. Online learning is one of the learning methods recommended by the government to limit the development of the COVID-19 virus following secular number 4 of 2020, namely the implementation of educational policy in emergency for the spread of coronavirus disease or COVID-19. Um, 20 or that 24 March 2020. Some the most basic policies that must be carried out in this pandemic situation are change the way student and teacher teach and situation learn from home. Change does change suddenly from face to face learning habit in the classroom or the laboratory during practice should be support with the availability of complete supporting facilities then switching to network based home learning 
various maximum effort have been made by the teacher to maximize the online learning process so that the effectiveness of learning can be made to achieve learning objectives. Some of the fundamental obstacles are often faced including facilities in the form of computer or smartphone owned by student and support internet network, limited quota, and the unique ability to use technology from teacher and student. Research purpose is uh, this study aimed to determine the effectiveness of the application of the model project-based learning based mobile learning to improve student critical thinking skill. Next, our research method. Um, the research method used is, used is a quasi-experimental with design post-test on the control group design. The sampling technique in this study is to use the technique cluster random sampling. The data collection technique use the observation method and the and the distribution of questionnaire to determine the thinking student critical skill in the subject of food purchasing and serving. This study aims to determine the effectiveness of the application of the model project based learning based mobile learning to improve student critical thinking skill. Data analysis in this study use technical study T-test. T-test was used to compare the treatment class, namely pre-test and post-test. Research and discussion. Um, the application of project-based learning, based learning model mobile was first applied in the school following the government able to limit the transmission of the COVID-19 virus that is currently sweeping the world. The result of data analysis based on critical thinking skill and student learning outcome before and after learning. Project-based learning model based on mobile learning in the experimental class trend to show good development, the effectiveness of project-based learning model online provide new experience for all students. The result of the evaluation of student critical thinking skill in the first cycle of the pre-test first show that the mean score of 56% was in a good category. This main value come from the student critical thinking ability on each indicator, namely basic classification indicator of 60%, basic support indicator at 50%, indicator concluding of 57%, the indicator is at front clarification 51%, indicator strategy and tactic of 58%. Implementation of action research in this first cycle or the phase of pre-test has not yet reached the maximum result because there are some problems found in the learning process that require improving planning for implementation of learning is the second cycle or the phase of post research of data analysis critical thinking skill of a student in cycle two of the post-test must indicate progress from before. The result of the evaluation show in the student critical thinking skill on the basic classification indicator on average 88%. Basic support indicator with mean of 86%. Indicator of conclusion with a mean of uh, 91%. Indicator advanced clarification with mean of 93%. Indicator strategy and tactic with a mean of 92%. The mean of the evaluation resort of critical thinking still in, in cycle two or the post-test phase 
was 19% in very good category. Conclusion and suggestion. Um, conclusion, my research uh, first is a, the first, mobile learning as a medium of improving the mobility of daily life in the context of distance education with educate internet connection resource requires students to learn targetly and get learning material anywhere and anytime. The second, mobile learning is able to offer students critical thinking skill in material learn to achieve learning goals. Third, uh, mobile learning can be a solution to the problem of equalization and limit access to education, leading students to interact in learning communities that reflect student independence in the learning process. Suggestion Mary said is first, uh, teacher are able to create learning tutorial in developing digital technology based learning model with the help of smartphone that they are easily accessible to students through YouTube, Google Classroom, or other online media as a basic photo capable of guiding students in the learning process before students find material. The second, students should be facilitated with internet quota that make it easier for them to seek reference from digital literature that to shape their skill and knowledge. And the last, education for the formation of character and ethic of student can be learned in the process of development when and anywhere in daily life. Daily life. Um, that's okay. what I present. I hope the result of the presentation I deliver can be of benefit. If they are a uh, mistake, I said, I beg forgiveness. I am Agusin Tadiarini to say thank you. Good afternoon. Okay, thank you very much for Miss Agung Sinta for the time. Thank you for delivering such an informative paper. You can stop screen now, thank you. And now I invite it again to continue our presentation. I invite the next presenter, Mr. Aprianda Kusuma Wijaya. For Miss Agung Sinta, you can stop the screen now. Sinta, please just stop your screen now so Mr. Agung, uh, Mr. Aprianda can share his screen. Please wait. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. At the top of the screen, there is a button of the top of your laptop or computer screen. There is a button to stop this, to stop, stop share. to share. Yeah, stop share. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, Miss hey, Mr. Aprianda Kusuma, the time is yours. Okay. Okay, thank you, moderator, for the time. Uh, hello everyone. Okay, I want to present my research about the effectiveness of civic education learning use the role playing model in developing civic skills students. Introduction. Can teachers play a significant role in the quality of education? Therefore, a teacher must have good competence. In law number 14 of 2005 uh, on teacher and lecture, Article 10, verse 1 states that teacher competence include pedagogical competence, personality competence, social competence, and professional competence obtain to professional education. Pedagogical competence is the ability to understand students, understand the design and implementation of learning. 
understand the process of evaluating learning result and the development of students to realize their various potential. In the implementation of the learning, of course, it must be able to attract an attention of students so that enthusiasm increases and does not feel bored. This is where the need for innovation and variation of features in training of learning so that student ability can develop optimally. Citizenship education are subject that have amended to form the social personality character of students. Therefore, in the learning process, citizenship education must develop three main competences. Pinatabtra, 2008, examine that aspect or scope of competence to be developed in the learning of civic education or citizenship education. Aspect of such competence include the civic knowledge, civic skills, and civic disposition. Therefore, it is important to have fun and meaningful learning in order to increase learning motivation and foster cooperation because it will generate the social complexity of interaction build reward and increase the productivity of social abilities. The creativity of teachers and combined learning models will result in the complexity of the color of learning in the classroom so that this form of cooperative learning model would be more helpful when put in the multimedia assisted role playing learning model. Okay, step and stage. For the step and stage of the implementation the implementation of role playing model learning, the for the one delivered by Joyce. Uh, then the step of the, impl the implementation of role playing models with multimedia by Vijaya uh, developed into the following. Step one, orienting about the model to be implemented is to display learning material for point, learning videos related to learning materials and identify link to learning materials. Step two, determine the group for the casting which is to analyze the role, choose the player who who will perform the role. Step three, preparing research. Casting is playing. Starting role playing, play the role on play. Uh, step five, discuss and evaluate the casting, uh, event, position, and reality. Discuss key focus develop the next cast. Step six, replaying a chance role, giving feedback or behavior alternative in the next step. Step seven, sharing and generalizing experience is connecting problematic situation with real world life and emergency problem, explaining common perceptible in behavior. Step eight, Preparing and creating learning result is to report the meaning of the group into the form of a learning video created by the group. And this is research method. This research use a quasi-experimental with quantitative approach. The research design as control group, the position, the population. in this research is student at SMK Telkom Bandung. Uh, then the sample is the term of student in the equivalent class. Then take from two grades, namely grade uh, 10, uh, 10 at multimedia 3 as a control group. Okay. This is research data. On the on the average score of the experiment class on intellectual skill indicator increased by 0.2, and for the average value of participants.
academic skill increased by 0.58 then the average then the average grade or increased by 0.10 and for the average score participation skill increased by 0.05 which show the which show that intellectual skill and experiment class participation skill were better than class control uh, Uh, this is because students after participating in civic education learning using role playing model knowledge and skills are more developed than when studying with conventional models of lecture the role playing model in civic education learning has a significant influence on the civic skill of students it is shown with an average increase in intellectual skill of 0.20 or 20% then on participatory scale of 0.157 or 57 percent and conclusion based on the result of the study of the study the implementation of cooperation principle in the learning process with role playing models contribute sufficiently to the improvement of student participating participation skill the concept of cooperation is a cultural value of the nation that is past liberation this cooperation is a social capital that already exists in student that must be developed in learning okay this is the result and product uh, of implementation of role playing model in civic education okay, format uh, format product is um, videos okay thank you i'm sorry i'm my name is Nick. okay thank you for your attention assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh okay waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh thank you for mr aprianda kusuma for the such informative and interesting paper so to the time, I continue again to the next presenter. Please welcome Mr. Hari Dika. Is Mr. Hari Dika already joined in here? Mr. Hari Dika? Monitoring Mr. Hari Dika? Okay, I can continue again to Mr. Ahmad Mudrika. Is Mr. Ahmad Mudrika is ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay. The floor is yours. You can share your screen. Okay, thank you. Permit me to share my uh, screen. <coughs> can you all see my uh, presentation here? Yes. Okay, this is my. This is my research. Uh, my research title is about problem-based learning assisted by simple mathematics skills to increase mathematics conceptual understanding ability and mathematical disposition of senior high school students. Uh, uh, my introduction or my research background is specifically about the change in the views of educators about mathematics that change the view. Uh, and then, uh, theoretically, uh, there are MCUA, mathematical, uh, uh, what, uh, understanding, ability, and mathematical distribution, learning theory that support and learning approaches that appropriate, and mathematical kits. And then, uh, practically, facts that uh, mathematical uh, uh, concept uh, understanding ability is the ability that should achieve uh, senior high school students in our government and then students tend to have negative attitudes towards mathematics and the learning process a uh, learning approach that can enhance senior high school students uh, MCE and MD and facts based on research about PBL Problem based, problem based learning. And then uh, I expect from my research is the enhancement and achievement of high order 
mathematical thinking, especially about mathematical conceptual understanding ability and mathematical disposition. So uh, I use uh, uh, there are the need of for innovating learn, innovative learning approach. So I use uh, the student learn in small group, five PBL learning syntax and simple mathematics kits, and the students construct their own knowledge. So I use problem-based learning uh, assisted by uh, mathematics kits, a simple mathematics kit. Uh, this is a uh, research question. Uh, to uh, mathematical concept, conceptual understanding ability and mathematical disposition is uh, my variable. Uh, uh, what to have, uh, I have to find. And then learning approaches, I use uh, problem-based learning uh, assisted by mathematics kit and problem-based learning without uh, mathematics kit. And then, uh, I give it to the whole student and then uh, I want to find the uh, enhancement of mathematical conceptual understanding ability and the enhancement of mathematical disposition. So uh, there are school category uh, that uh, use uh, these two uh, approaches and then prime mathematical ability of uh, the whole student so they, I want to find the, the enhancement of these two variable, and then I want to find the interaction about uh, learning approaches uh, between learning approaches and school category, and then uh, the learning approaches with a prior mathematical ability. Uh, my research method is uh, this is my research type is quasi quasi experimental, and then. Uh, I want to find the normalized gain but between uh, this MCU and MD test, uh, mathematical conceptual understanding and mathematical position test. I use uh, two treatment. Uh, first treatment is uh, problem-based learning with uh, assisted by mathematical kits and problem-based learning without assisted of uh, mathematics kits. Uh, and my research design is about uh, to use factorial design. I want to know about learning approach and school category and learning approach and uh, prior mathematical ability. So this is my uh, research design. Uh, there are uh, school categories. Uh, I use not high and middle, uh, uh, but I use uh, school categories with uh, First categories is uh, private school with uh, non-boarding school, Islamic boarding school, and the second is uh, uh, senior high school, uh, senior high school with uh, boarding school, Islamic boarding school. So I used to class for uh, each of the school, and then learning approach with PMA, prime mathematical ability. Uh, this is my research instruments. I want to uh, understand about uh, not, uh, prior mathematical ability test, MCUA test, observation, and, and mathematical disposition test. This is the result. Uh, student mathematical conceptual understanding ability based on learning approaches, school categories, and prior mathematical abilities, uh, non-boarding school, boarding school, and the total from school category. We can see the whole student uh, achieve uh, from PBL with uh, uh, mathematical kit and PBL without mathematical kit. Uh, this is uh, this uh, results when I see uh, student mathematical conceptual understanding ability based on learning approaches. We can see that uh, the normal normalized gain uh, from PBLK, our problem-based learning assisted by mathematic kids, higher than uh, a student who used or who received uh, problem-based learning without mathematic kids uh, was 0 0.48 uh, and 0 0.36.
And this is a uh, result of student mathematical conceptual understanding ability based on school categories. We can see that uh, from uh, non-boarding non school and boarding school, and between PBLK and PBL, we can see that uh, PBLK higher than PBL from uh, each category, uh, each school category. And then we can see that non-boarding school, private school have uh, higher, the highest uh, student mathematical concept or understanding ability. And then this is my research about student mathematical conceptual understanding ability based on PMA or prior mathematical abilities. We can see that from uh, the total, uh, PBLK is uh, the highest uh, uh, student's mathematical conceptual understanding. Uh, and then uh, this is my research about students' mathematical concepts and understanding ability based on learning approaches and school categories. Okay, uh, we can see uh, from this result that uh, non board school is highest uh, two. <laughs> and then this is the results of students' mathematical conceptual understanding ability based on learning approaches and prior mathematical abilities. We can see that uh, from boarding school category, this is the highest uh, uh, result, uh, uh, high, uh, uh, what type MA uh, received the, the highest, yeah, highest uh, achievement, yeah, 62.33 and uh, normalized guy gain. Uh, 0 0.87. This is um, students' mathematical disposition based on learning approaches, school categories, and prior mathematical abilities. And this is the results about students' mathematical disposition based on learning approaches. So we can see that uh, students who receive uh, problem-based learning assisted by uh, mathematic kids get higher than uh, Student who receive problem based learning without um, uh, um, uh, mathematical kits. Uh, students' mathematical disp disposition based on school Three categories. Five, so, two you, minutes you. left. Okay, thank you. This is uh, the result about students' mathematical disposition. And this is the result uh, uh, students' mathematical dis disposition based on prior mathematical abilities. And this is the results of student mathematical disposition based on learning approaches and school categories. And this is the results students mathematical disposition based on learning approaches and prior mathematical ability. And this is two-way ANOVA summary test on and gain of MD and MCU test based on learning approaches and school category. We have interaction between uh, school category and learning approaches yeah from uh, end gain of md test and then this is interaction plot between learning approaches and school categories uh, this is to a anova test of end gain of mco and md test based on learning approach and prior mathematical ability and there are interaction between learning approach and pma to uh, from mcu test and md test for learning approaches uh, this is uh, the result of uh, interaction plot. Okay, maybe this is uh, my presentation. Uh, that was my presentation. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, thank you very much for Ahmad Murka, Mr. Ahmad Murka. Okay, we continue again. You can stop the screen. Okay, thank you for the informative and such a unique presentation. I will call again the next presenter, Mr. Afan, or Mr. Afan Yusra. You can share your screen, please, Mr. Afan Yusra. Okay. Thank, you. Okay. Thank you for moderator and for share screen. Uh, my, uh, oh.
Oke, okay. uh, so uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, I'm uh, Afan Yusra from Jambi University. In this same article, they blended learning in increasing learning access of Indian students. Uh, introduction for our situation, the support research in classical learning in the Jambi University, especially the guided and hard program today and then we say they are studying classical with uh, lecture learning method the method in combination uh, with PowerPoint in speaking uh, this is class for the student learning for assessment for data was on updated before the occurrence of the COVID the same the student is Borat been during in learning process. Next, in, so the indicator for boring bore, bore, in student in one it, uh, activation of his script for information, category low, activation of duty, less, activity dis discussion low, activation in problem solving low. Yes. Next, uh, the research to improving the effectiveness of learning in improving learning activity uh, student of uh, student unja uh, method in this research uh, this type of research in qualitative research uh, with pre experimental draft research with model the one group research and post test in this uh, study drafting will focus one group and then this group at the initial stage, be given the initial test and the usual treatment, and after the treatment will carry for less post test. They run from the comparison the initial test with the last test for this procedural. Uh, this uh, test one. Uh, one, to one uh, step, step one, the learning activities of best unja, which uh, pre-test. Next, uh, process implementation the expression using today the blended learning method. The implementation, the treatment is carried out for time, experimental, how for uh, treatment. First, uh, the next, uh, will be using process. Uh, with classical testing, uh, with uh, I use uh, your classical testing. Nah, just the next the result uh, with classical testing. Based on the result, the non-parametric statistical test output is now the same thing to style the word zero comma zero 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 car plus because the value 0, 0, 0,000 is smaller than uh, 0, 0,05. It can conclude this acceptance. This means that there is difference between the result, the pre-test and post-test, so can also be con concluded that there are different in increasing the learning effectiveness of students uh, for uh, best student dua, dua, dua. next uh, learning the jam university program after begin the blended learning method discussion the learning x the student le, the learning activities guided and coaching y the finding the updated basis in areas and learning always the activeness the blended learning student learning access learning the from different between uh post test uh three in comma nine one percent will that the result hypothesis testing the effectiveness of blended learning the student learning activeness are the state the true this how more the method combination the testing for the learning practice. Conclusion, based on the finding in discussion of the research, uh, result and the conclusion description, 
initial condition the learning activity for unja class uh, 99 the 29 dan 28 just three indicator uh, three indicator uh, four indicator uh, three indicator kategori high and one indicator pada this the medium kategori after the begin assessment unja student class uh, next class uh, Uh, thousand uh, eight thousand uh, nine. The three. The study the effectiveness the blended learning approach is are the very significant as the because there are many combination of international med media and teaching method and given so that is so very significant result the learning assessment when just student. Thank you for moderator. Okay, yeah, thank you very much for Mr. Afan Yusra. Thank you for the presentation. I welcome to me again, presenter, Mrs. Beta Centauri. The floor yes, is okay. yours. Okay, thank, thank you, you, moderator. Please permission, I want to share screen. Clear? Okay, we can see it clearly. Thank you. Thank you very much for the time that given. I want to present my paper. The title is The Effectiveness of the Web Conference as an E-Learning Synchronous During COVID-19. Based on circular letter from the Minister of Education and Culture Indonesia during COVID-19, lecturer and student carry out learning activity at home. For this reason, lecturer and student who were originally faced with first in class during their learning process are required to change the learning pattern into an online method. Yeah, and this picture, face-to-face -face class, And in this situation, we must do online class. During learning with this online method, uh, learning can be done in synchronous learning by using a web conference. We you know synchronous learning is that student and lecturer are at the same time carry out the learning process or the that direct interaction between student and lecturer is carried out well, similar to class as usual, but online, like ours today with the via Zoom, like a synchronous learning. And Department of Technology Education, Palangkara University, also implements web conference in synchronous learning, that's using Big Blue Button, especially Big Blue Button, one of them, the feature in Moodle e-learning in Palangkara University and the big blue button and open source web conference system for distance education. The big, big blue button project have been started in 2007 by Burnside Network with the main goal to enable university college to deliver a high quality learning experience to remote students by sharing of slide audio, video, chat, desktop, and the yeah, others. And we can look literature review in any pens. 2010 web conference expand educational origin. It's a technology that help in talking to anybody anytime, anywhere. And then grants at all web conference new approach to instruction must accompany new technology adjusting to the change teacher role, motivating, and to address and facilitate at all at the synchronous conference communication can give many advantage and to fill the gap between digital technology and face-to-face -face teaching and grain at all audio and video quality are essential for quality meeting it is crucial to have the equipment and alternative in the case of overflowing data 
and this is my methodology. The recent method used was a quantitative research method with the user population as the object of the research was Palangkara University Educational Technology Department, especially student and class 2017 have 40, 54 students have used the blue button during online learning and this research used a Likert questionnaire scale range by assessing the effectiveness indicator. And this, the indicators, easy of use, technical quality, inhibiting factor, and interest. And the result and discussion were based on the result of research conducted on student of educational technology with a total 54 respondents, 61.1 percent men and 28.9 percent of women who use the blue button can be seen in the following picture and they are use the blue button with the android result and discussion is of use technical quality inhibiting factor and interest especially in a of use based on the result of your research conducted on the liquor scale confidence factor form, which may agree tends to be higher than others. Students agree that the big blue button web conference student access using Android is very easy to use and can be accessed anywhere there is no difficult. It's like that also with the recent any pump. And then technical quality, technical quality factor are also one of the indicators in the assessment of the web conference in synchronous learning on liquor scale scale three and four which mean that an agree tend to be higher higher than others students agree that audio and video are important technical factor in conducting web conference and harmony with research according to grant and Chen 2007 and inhibiting factor and the liquor scale inhibitor factor four which mean agree tend to be higher than the other Students agree that a larger quota is needed when learning using Big Blue Button, and stable internet connection is needed when learning using Big Blue Button. This is also according to the additional question book comment from studying that synchronous learning, the student data quota often runs out more quickly. Besides that, is internet connection is not stable, you can log it all yourself with um, Big Blue Button. And this is also according to the reset of Angar, Wati, and at all. Interest on the liquor scale, interest factor three and four tend to be higher than the others, which mean agree and drop. Students agree interesting with blue button uh, because that, uh, with accordance with this reset of Baba, web conference has definitely attracted a lot of attention where students talk about that statement better understand what the lecture explained using the big button video conference during COVID-19. Conclusion and suggestion, web conference as a learning synchronous during COVID-19 can be alternative on learning media in Department of Technology Education, Palangkara University, especially use big blue button. There are many features can easy to use and interest to use big blue button because no time limit but as many as 50.9% of students that that uh, the affordability of internet quota was the biggest difficult experience by student. Not only network difficulties, the affordability of learning device, one or uh, which uh, was a laptop, and the level of understanding the material and atmosphere of the house and the environment that was not supportive also helped determine the the effectiveness of learning online at home. Even if there is something that is quite interesting, the presence of friends as a reference for enthusiasts for learning is one of the one of things that's missed during the implementation of academic activity in emerging spread and spread of COVID-19. Based on this, especially my suggestion in inhibiting factor can be done from the lecture the student is to organize learning by making standard operating procedure of learning 
in which arrangement are made that synchronous is not carried out every meeting but can be combination with a synchronous so um, as to minimize the inter quota for students. That's all my presentation. Thank you. Back to moderator. Okay, thank you very much for Mrs. Beta's story, giving us so, such an interesting presentation. I will continue again to the next presenter, Mrs. Paramita Kusumawardani. Is Ms. Paramita Kusumawardani already joining here? Miss Paramita. Okay, last call, Miss Paramita. Okay, last call again for Miss Dita Rosa Utami. Miss Dita Rosa Utami, can you hear my voice? No, okay. The last is Mr. Hari Dika. Mr. Hari Dika. Okay, seems like it's there's no. We can continue again to the next session is question and answer session. I invite to you to all the presenter is three question for all the presenter. Don't forget to mention your name and who wants whom to wants to ask. To. You can raise raise your hand or chat in the box if you want to ask some question to each presenter. Anybody want to ask something? Okay, Mr. Ahmad Mudrika. No question, thank you. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> the other? Is there any question? Maybe Mr. Isan? No question. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I am calling the last call for the Miss Dita or Mr. Hari or Mrs. Paramita. They'll join in here or not? Because I cannot take the attendance okay. list. You are not presenting your paper in here. Last call for Mr. Dita, Mr. Hari, and Miss Beta. Okay. No question. Okay, the last Thank call you. for Miss Dita, Miss Mr. Hari, and Miss Paramita. Okay. okay, I can close it because there is no response from the very Okay, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. This is this the end of the session. If there is no question so far. Thank you. I hope this presentation is informative, educative and lightning information and will be benefited. After this event, don't forget to rejoin again to the main Zoom at 30 because there is a, another keynote speaker who want to present that paper, which is the third and the fourth keynote speaker. And then the attendance list of the afternoon attendance list is also there in the main Zoom room at 15.30, so don't forget and make sure re you rejoin again to the link. Uh, Oke, okay, Bapak Ibu, jangan lupa untuk bergabung kembali ke link Zoom yang utama yang sudah di, di email, karena nanti di situ ada juga uh, attendance link-nya atau absennya untuk Bapak Ibu mendapat linknya. Jadi, Jangan lupa harus uh, join kembali ke main Zoom atau tidak bisa dapat isi sertifikat ya Bapak. Oke, saya acara para Zoom ini mohon mengaktifkan kamera kami. Saya ingin mengambil dokumentasi untuk sama. Mohon turn on your camera everybody. Itu Aprianda, please turn on your camera. Mr. Aprianda. Miss Lesa, also turn on your camera, please. Miss Lesa, there is no response. Mr. Aprianda, okay. Miss Lesa, please turn on your camera, Miss Lesa. Okay. I would like to take your photo first. Can for your absence, okay? Are you ready? Okay, take it now. One. 
two and three. No. Okay. One more. One, two, and three. Oke, okay. Bapak Ibu sekalian terima kasih atas waktunya bergabung ke Zoom yang utama. Jangan lupa untuk menyaksikan masih ada keynote speaker dua lagi. Jadi jangan lupa join kembali. Terima kasih. Saya tutup room ini dengan wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Terima kasih Bapak Ibu sekalian. Bapak Ibu bisa meninggalkan room para ini. Silakan. Terima kasih, Miss Dia. Kenapa? Permisi Kristian untuk uh, mendapatkan sertifikatnya kita join lagi ya di session berikut. Uh. Betul, betul. Kalian uh, harus join kembali ke link Zoom yang utama nanti di 15.30 karena uh, uh, nanti di situ di share link absensi yang terakhir untuk mendapatkan e sertifikat. 15.30. Oke. 15.30 mulai. Oke okay, Bapak Ibu, terima kasih. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum. Silakan kembali atau ingin istirahat dulu boleh. Terima kasih Bu Dian. Terima kasih, terima kasih. Terima kasih.